Hi, namaste and welcome to my channel KK Research Studies. This is the first video towards our journey of learning business research method or business research studies. So in this video, we are going to learn about what research is, what is the meaning of scientific research and what are the features of scientific research. So let us try to understand what the research means. Any investigation that we carry out in order to solve the problem or in order to know more about that problem. So that kind of investigation is known as research. The word research itself tells us that any investigation that we do to confirm the knowledge, to find new knowledge about the existing phenomenon, that is called research. Sekaran in 2000 has given one definition. Research is an organized, systematic, data-based, critical scientific inquiry or investigation into a specific problem undertaken with the objective of finding answers or solutions to it. So once you go through this definition, you will be perfectly clear about what the research is all about. Everything comes under this definition. So let us try to understand what is the meaning of scientific research. As the word scientific suggests, that if anything is done systematically, then that is meant to be called as scientific. So scientific research is an investigation which is carried out step by step and which is carried out in such a way that the conclusion that we get at the end have, <clears throat> can be explained logically. It's an organized study because we have all preset steps, methodologies and guidelines in order to carry out the scientific research. So it's an organized research. It investigates the pre-hypothesized relationship between the variables. So this is one beauty of the scientific research because scientific research is based on preset assumptions, based on theory. So once we know the theory, once we have the theory, then it will be easy for us to find different variables of the subject of interest where we are going to do the research. So once we know the variables, once we identify the variables, we can assume the relationship between the variables based on the theoretical findings and based on the <clears throat> empirical findings, which is carried out in different parts uh, of the world in different periods of time. So it investigates the scientific research, it investigates this pre-hypothesized relationship between the variables. And other very important aspect of scientific research is it provides a complete research methodology. How are we going to conduct the research? What are the tools and techniques that we are going to use in order to get the data, gather information? How are we going to statistically analyze the data? So all these things are there in the scientific research. And <clears throat> other aspect of the scientific research is it is interlinked exercise and that requires a lot of sound experience and knowledge. This means the steps that we are talking about in scientific research, each and every steps are very, very important. And it is not always necessary that we have to, you know, everything should be followed step by step in the sense, sometimes we can go back to the earlier steps to check whether we are going to the right track or not. So they are interlinked. So if you do not have sound knowledge on how are you going to uh, you know, move back and move forward you know, while doing the research, then it, it, it will be very difficult to conduct the research. So that is why the scientific research, it is an interlinked exercise uh, for the researcher. <clears throat> so what are the features of scientific research? What are the characteristics or traits that make the scientific research? The first one is purposiveness. If you do not have any purpose, then you are not going to conduct the research, okay? So any research, it, it, uh, for it to be a scientific research has to have some purpose. Then only we can say it's a scientific research. The next is rigor. How carefully the research is carried out, how systematically the research is carried out, how thoroughness has the researcher given in terms of getting the information in terms of studying the variables, in terms of everything uh, that is needed for conducting the research, how thoroughly the research is carried out. So for a research 
to be a scientific research, that thoroughness need to be there. Testability. As we discussed earlier, that scientific research is based on theoretical assumptions on the basis of which we get different variables and we pre-assume the relationship between those variables. So that pre-assumption of the relationship between variables must be tested, okay? And they should be testable at the end. If they are not testable, then this research or that research would not be a scientific research. Replicability. That means repeated similar outcome. If I do a research in one data with certain set of methodologies and you do the same research with the same data and the same set of methodologies, both of us should get the similar results. If we do not get the similar results, then you know there could be error in my research or there could be error in my research. And that research will be difficult uh, to accept the findings, okay? The findings will be very, very difficult to be accepted. So that is why scientific research, most of the time they are replicable. Okay, whatever I do, you, uh, you do, or any other person or the researcher does, uh, the findings will be similar if the data, circumstances, and everything are same. Precision and confidence. Now, since the scientific research is carried out step by step and with great care and thoroughness, we as a researcher are pretty sure about the precision of the result. That means the findings will be very, very close to the reality. And we, as a researcher, will have a certain level of confidence in saying that, yes, our results are very close to the reality. Uh, while doing or analyzing the data, or statistical analysis, we set the confidence level, like uh, let's say 95% confidence or 99% uh, confidence. So that is the interval where, uh, with comfort, we can say that the findings that we have received or found is very close to the reality. So that kind of uh, confidence is always there in the scientific research. Objectivity. We as a researcher in scientific research is not allowed to involve our values or involve our feelings into the research. Our purpose is just to collect the data, analyze it and whatever comes present. So a scientific research is a research where the involvement of the researcher's feeling is not there. The involvement of researchers' values is not there. Generalizability, as we discussed earlier, because of the precision of the result, because of the rigorness of the analysis, because of uh, the confidence that the researcher has on uh, his or her results, it is uh, a very good uh, way to generalize to the other organizations or to other situations. Like for example, if I am carrying out one research in my organization, let's say for example, I'm a manufacturing company of biscuits. So if I'm finding one result in my organization, then the other organization who is also manufacturing the biscuits may have, if, if similar types of studies is carried out, may have the similar results. So based on my results, I can, I can uh, say that, yes, because that is also a biscuit manufacturing company or organization. So they may also have uh, the similar results that we have obtained in our organization. So that kind of generalizability is there in the scientific research. Parsimony. Scientific research is always simple. It is always logical and it is always economical. Simple in the sense, we conduct the research, scientific research to solve or to get the solution to a problem or to add more knowledge about that problem. So we as a researcher, if we are not able to put our research in a very simple way, then the person at the other end will not be able to understand what we have done. So it should be very, very simple, systematic and logical. I mean, whatever results that we get at the end of our uh, study, those results should be backed by the logics that we already have made or, uh, you know, those conclusions should be the logical conclusions. Without logic, we cannot say anything. And economical, I mean, the scientific research is the research which also concentrates on the economy. We, as a researcher, do not focus on extravagant expenses. Everything should be done very carefully 
as we do the research step by step in a very systematic way, it naturally makes the research economical. And there are more features or characteristics of the scientific research, for example, systematic, controlled, critical, empirical. So if we combine all these characteristics and traits, we can say that yes, the research is a scientific research. Otherwise, it'll be difficult to say whether the research is scientific or non-scientific. So I hope we have uh, obtained some knowledge on what the research is, what is the meaning of scientific research and what are the traits or the features of the scientific research. In our next video, we'll be talking more about the research and other aspects of the research. So we are still in the introduction part of the research or the basic part of the research. And uh, I will definitely see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank <clears throat> you.